Some vacationers just want to take it easy, take an easy vacation on a beach somewhere, but others are looking for adventure. And if that is you, listen up. Outside Magazine is just out with its list of best destinations for 2014. And executive editor Michael Roberts is here to tell us all about the picks. Good morning, Michael. Good morning. We do a lot of these lists, but I have to say, yours might be one of the most impressive routes to deciding how you pick the categories. Yeah. I mean, how many people were involved in picking these lists? <laughs> I don't have a number for you, but we start out by reaching out to a really big network of correspondents across the planet. So this is photographers, writers, uh, videographers, adventure travel guides and operators, hotel operators, and we say, send us your list. What are the best things happening in travel this year? And then we sit down with our two most experienced travel writers, people who've been everywhere, and we make our definitive picks. And that's the Outside Travel Awards. All right, so let's let's take a look at some of your favorites. Right. Finally, you've picked a place I went last summer and loved, Switzerland, yeah. for what you say is b the best family trip. That's right. You know, I was lucky as a kid myself to go once uh, with my own family to Switzerland. I have these memories of this really relaxing and fun trip, and that's because it's such an easy destination for families. Uh, great public transportation, efficient trains always on time, great food. Um, you know, it's, it's such a fantastic And some spot. easy hikes also, quick That's hikes, right. There's yeah. one that goes over, uh, you know, with Wilderness Travel, does a 10-day trip in the Alps, incredible scenic spot, and it goes over St. Bernard Pass. You're actually hiking with those St. Bernard dogs at one point, right. and it's easier, shorter days, great for families. Some breathtaking lakes in, in Switzerland, and yeah. the mountains are just stunning and beautiful, yeah. too. Yeah. Michael Roberts, thank you so much. You got it.